Hello, thanks for joining me today. It's Kate at Ink Stamp Share. Today I'm going to be making this really fun card. It's called a card in a box and uh, it folds together like that. So it will go in your envelope like that. And then when the recipient opens it, it opens out like that. How cool is that? I love this. Um, it's nautical themed, this one. Um, and it's got lots of elements on it. So it'll take a little bit longer than your average just sort of one or two layer card, but it's worth it and it's really not difficult to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it. Okay, now, the first thing is I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using. So we've got the sa new Sailing Home Stamps from Stamping Up. This got released in our brand new catalog out this week and they're fab, they're all nautical themed. So we've got lighthouses and boats and anchors and compasses and all those and some great sentiments on there. And you've got the dies to match so you can cut everything out. These actually make it. There's a little banner which is stitched. There's a label which is stitched. You've got compasses and uh, the compass dials. You've got the steering wheel. You've got fronds, anchors, and you can cut your boats out as well. So if you buy this as a bundle, you get 10% off. So that's always think worth thinking about. Let's put that over there. All right, I'm going to start. Um, I used the papers that go with this as well. Let me show you those quickly. And then you can see because you need to choose which papers you wanted when you're making your box, your card in a box to decorate it with. And they are lovely. So there's boats and lighthouses and compasses, like newsprint, vintage, map, um, gorgeous stripes, knots, ropes, seaweed. And then you've got these lovely B-sides. So if you don't really want anything as prominent seaside -y, you can just use these kind of things. And they are gorgeous. So that's what we're using. Let me put them out of the way. I've already chosen what I'm going to use. Right. I'm going to bring my trimmer in and a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. I'm going to do some scoring. So this is an A4 piece of card. And I'm just going to pop it into my scorer with the long edge at the top. And I'm going to bring it down into shot so you can see what I'm doing. And you see that. Right, okay. And we're going to score it along the top. We're going to score it at seven centimetres, 14 centimetres, 21, so every seven centimetres, and 28, which gives you a narrow piece at the end, a narrow scored section here. So if I bend that, you can see. You can see that's the narrow piece. Okay, and then we're going to turn it around so we have the short piece at the top, short side, and we're going to score at seven centimeters like that. There we go. So we have this that seven at the top. Okay, now I've got my instructions here. Now, my lovely upline taught me how to make this, Michelle, Michelle Lars. She taught us how to make this at a team training event last year using the snowmen that we had for Christmas. Um, yeah, and so I thought it'd be great for the boats, but you can actually find this card on a box all over YouTube too. So you can find the instructions pretty much all over the place. So, right, okay. The next thing is score cut at 15 centimeters along the short edge. Now, I've got to make sure I do this right. I think it's like this. No, that's not right. So I have to do it that way. Because I made it a couple of times, but I can't quite remember. Is this right? Let's have a look. If I put it up this way, it'll give us a general idea of exactly... Yes, that would be right. Okay, so with the short edge at the top, the opposite to where you've already got your line down there. Put this in and at 15 centimeters, you're gonna cut a piece away. So you're gonna cut this whole piece off. Now we need this. We need this for a little bit later on, so do keep that handy. Do not get rid of that. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. See what we've got. Okay, 
So we've got this here. Now I'm going to keep my little narrow section here and this piece here, the narrow short rectangle is going to be cut away. Perfect. Now this is going to be the top of our box, so we need to cut down these lines here, these score lines. So you can use your trimmer if you don't trust your scissors, but literally just cut down those lines. So this card is a little bit more involved than a simple flat card, so the video will take a little bit longer, but I think it's worth it because sometimes it just gets a little bit dull doing the same old thing. Anything, and it's not particularly any more difficult or anything, it's just a bit more fun. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. So, this makes our box if you can see. So, there we are now. Got my corner around this one. Here it is, and I'm going to round the tops with my corner rounder. I think we have a punch. This, this is not current but I've had it for years and it's fab and it does the job, but you can get corner rounders anywhere. But we do have a punch with a corner rounder on it too. Um, a decorative punch, but it rounds corners. So, there we go. But, you can definitely get corner rounders. They're inexpensive. Okay, oops. So I have rounded the corners. Oh, all those bits. Lovely job. So that is taking shape nicely. This join bit is going to be at the back, like that, like so. Okay. So I've got all my elements ready. I thought it would be a lot easier than you watching me cut more pieces out. So one thing I have got is a piece of balmy blue cardstock. It doesn't have to be balmy blue. You can use whatever colour that you like. I wanted it quite light. It's going to go on the back of my card. And this is where you're going to write to Uncle Henry, have a fabulous birthday, or whatever it is you're going to write, you would put on the back. So I am going to round the corners of the top again. Like that. Keep shutting that. And then when this is glued together, like that, this will go on the back of my card where you can write. Okay? So I'm just going to keep that because I'm going to stamp on that later. So I'll just keep that for the time being. Okay. And this is where we get our pieces of our designer series paper. And I've cut them to size already. Okay. So... Um, I've got a long piece, and that is going to go on the inside at the back before I stick it together. Oh, actually, no, I need to stick it together first because then you cover up the seam inside, otherwise it won't fit. That's right. So, okay, I've got my piece. I'm just going to glue this together. It's going to make life a lot easier and you can see what I'm doing. So on the inside of this, this piece here, I'm going to pop some glue. You can use tear and tape. You can use your Tombow, whatever you prefer. I like the liquid glue, it kind of gives you a bit more room to move if you stick something down a bit wrong. And it's got some great holding power. There we are. How cool is that? This is going to be the back of my card where the join is. So I can now flap these over and you can see how your card's going to take shape. And actually I need that to be a bit better stuck down. But there we go, you can see the idea. Okay, now this piece, I'm going to pop inside here. Oh, sorry about my dog. I'm going to pop inside here like so. So I need to round the tops of those corners too. And I'm going to pop some glue on and just stick it in, ready. So I thought a nice pale blue lighthouse would be lovely. All right, let's pop it in. I've just got to think of somebody who to send this card to now. Now, the last one I made um, when I was working it out was a thank you. I think I'm going to stick to that. 
There we go. There, I've stuck that in so you can kind of see that's how it's going to look. I can't see what you can see. Right. But that's how it's going to look, like that. Okay, and next I'm going to start sticking the pieces of paper on. Now, let's see, I have got, I'll show you what I've got. I've cut the pieces of paper. I have got three of each. All right. Now one, three, one set of three is six and a half centimetres by six and a half centimetres, so they're square. And the other one is just slightly bigger on one side, so they're rectangle, and they're six and a half centimetres by seven and a half centimetres. I will put all the measurements on my blog at inkstampshare.ink, so don't worry about writing it all down or all the measurements or any of that, because you can just hop over there and see it all, and it makes it a lot easier than trying to keep up. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I am going to put these on the sides. So let's grab my glue. Ooh, I had a bit of blue cardstock stuck to me. So just pop it on the front. These are just little rectangles. They don't need corner roundering, rounding, roundering. That's not a word, is it? <laughs> I do like making something different. I hope you like it. Because you could do this with any kind of die bundle, stamp set and die bundle. And if you've got the matching papers or something similar that would fit, it's just perfect. But I think they it just lends itself to these boat ones. Because we're going to have them floating in the, in the card. Right, so this is this bit. Like that. Okay, and then the boats are going to go on this piece. And this piece and so on. And I am going to round the corners where it's round at the bottom. So make sure you've got the, the corners rounded in the right direction. Otherwise your boats will be upside down. So round it at the bottom on both sides. There we are. And we can glue those pieces on. I think my glue is coming to its end of its life happens. Just pop it on there, leave a nice border. Pop it on here. It's a lovely sunny Sunday here. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Sundays are one of those days, though, where you think you kind of can relax, but you've really got to get ready for the next day, haven't you, with all that? I don't know about you, but I have children, so you've got to make sure all the homework's done and you're all ready for the week ahead. All the uniforms are clean and ready and think about your lunch boxes for them. So I've got to go and do all that in a minute. Right. So there you go. This is nice. I like this combination. The colours in this uh, design series paper are Night of Navy, Whisper White, um, Soft Suede, Mossy Meadow, I think. That's it. I think that's the colours. So there we go. But I liked the light blue here. So I wanted to match it on the back with that other piece that we've got to go on there afterwards. Right, now comes the fun. We're going to do some stamping. So I have a piece of cardstock. You can see I've already started using it now. I am going, oops, I <laughs> knocked everything, everything over. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Okay, so we have got the matching ink pads for this. And I'm going to just stamp them out. So I'm going to do one boat that's large. like that. I'm going to do two of the smaller boats. I'm so blue. <laughs> I don't know how I got in that mess, but hey ho. Right, two small boats in the blue. I am going to do, ooh, 
I've got birds on that. I'm going to do a blue anchor like that. Let's pop that out of the way. And then I'm going to move the blue one out of navy and I'm going to go in with the mossy meadow not pad. And I've chosen thanks for my sentiment, so I'm just going to do a little thanks up here, like so. Move that one. And then we're going to go for the soft suede. I'm a bit noisy, aren't I? I'm sorry. Right, soft suede. Ink pads are so noisy, aren't they? And I'm going to do the compass in soft suede. Like that. And then my lighthouse. And this will be all the things that you need for your stamping, literally. So stamp that one on there, like so. Right, now one more thing is I'm, while I'm stamping, I'm going to bring this piece in. And I am going to use the balmy blue, which is the same colour as the cardstock. I'm going to clean off my boat because it's still covered in night of navy. Oh, it's really ink. I think that's why my hands are so blue. <laughs> I've been cleaning them. Okay, so I've cleaned off my boat. And I'm going to stamp all the way up. I'm going to stamp some of these little boats on the back. Like that. And I think then I'm just going to add some of the birds on in between. Let's give it a bit of something else. There we go. So yeah, just a bit of fun there. That's that. Okay. So that is all the stamping done. Oops, sorry. Okay, so we can actually stick this piece on the back of our card now. Let's do that. I have to get some more glue on it. Right on the back so the point of that is it's quite light the balmy blue ink and the balmy blue cardstock are quite light so you can write your message on the back of there quite easily and it's not going to be overpowered by the stamping you can see what you're saying okay so that's that done now instead of you sitting here and watching me cut all these out with the dies on the big shot I've already cut them out ready so I'll show you what I've got there's the anchor here are the boats. Here's the lighthouse. Here's the compass. Right, okay. And then I've cut some more elements out with the dies that we've got. I've cut one of the banners out in Knight of Navy cardstock and I've cut it out again in Whisper White. And I'll show you why in a second. I've cut out the little steering wheel for the boat. If anyone can tell me what that's called, I'd be very <laughs> pleased. Um, we have three of the fronds, the seaweed in Mossy Meadow, and I've cut out the label. So I've done all the cutting ready. Oh, one more thing that's quite important is I have cut out this, this little compass dial. And it actually, my hands are a state, it actually embosses the inside of the compass. I don't know if you can see that. It looks amazing. So that's really cool. So we're going to use this stuff to decorate our our um, card with. Now we need the inside of here to be able to stick things to. So that's the next bit we're going to do. So I'm going to pop that out of the way. And this is the bit of card that we cut off our, our box. So let me just check my notes to see how we do this. I can't remember. I know I cut a piece of it off. Uh, So, ten and a half centimetres wide. So, making sure that the narrow piece that was scored is on the left, I need to cut it at ten and a half centimetres. 
this, we'll move that one, this leaves you a piece like this. Okay, and then we're going to cut it in half. And I think it's three centimetres. Yeah. This is the clever part. Let's move this. This is so clever, I love this. So then you end up with these bits, and if you fold them opposite each other, you end up with these. It's clever, isn't it? Tell me you're impressed. That's not in half, though, is it? What did I do? Let's just check it fits. Well, it fits, so it doesn't really matter the depth, as long as it fits. Okay, that's fine, doesn't matter. Okay, so what we're going to do now is make the layers. So I'm going to put the glue on, on the edges. Like that and on there so you can see what I've done because these bits are going to fit inside your box like this and you're going to put one at the front one near the front making sure this bit's straight and just get it straight and then just hold it there until the glue dries and then we're going to put one nearer the back so we do the same again on there and on that bit. Just do it near the back. Just want to make sure it's straight. Actually, I have to do that the other way up. I think that'd be better. That's it. Just hold it in place until the glue is dry. And then you can see you have two sections to stick your elements to. Excellent, we're getting there. So what we're gonna do next, I've gotta remember what I made. So I think I'm gonna put some of my seaweed at the back. Got a bit left in there, that's it. So I'm just gonna put some glue on there. Just dot it in the, and around and about. You don't need a lot, to be honest, it will stick. And we're gonna pop it in here so you can see it. Like that. So we got that in there. Then I'm gonna take another piece of the seaweed. And if I can find my scissors, I'll be a very happy person. Here we are. And I'm gonna chop it in half. I don't want to use all of it. Just some of the fronds. There we are. And I'm going to use this bit as well. And I'm going to pop that inside. You can decorate your box however you like. Obviously. I just like these seaweed pieces inside. There we are. Okay, good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put my lighthouse in. Now I'm going to pop my lighthouse here. Can you see that? So I just need a little bit of glue along the bottom of the front of him. And I'm going to pop him in. Like so. There, can you see it? Make sure it's not... There we are. So there's our lighthouse. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little boat in. Oh, one thing I've got to do with the little boats is colour them in. So that's always a bit of fun. I've got my light balmy blue ink alcohol blend marker and my crumb cake, light crumb cake one too. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of colour along the base of the boat. Not too much, nothing technical or worrying. <laughs> just a little bit of colour to give it a bit of definition. So it gave it a bit of something rather than it not standing out. And I've used the balmy blue. Um, and then I'll just go over with the crumb cake. Just 
just on the lines, make it look a bit more defined. So that's that. Do the same on the little ones. It doesn't have to be accurate or anything, it's just like a shadow. There we go. It's just a little bit of something just to pick it out. There we go. So we can start sticking our boats in. I'm going to put a little one. I'm going to make it the same as the last one I made because I liked the way I did it. So when you like something, you tend to stick to it. So I'm going to stick it here. I don't know, can you see what I'm doing? So I'm going to stick it there. And then the bigger one, I'm going to put next. And I'm just putting glue along the bottom because we don't want glue sticking up out. So I'm gonna put glue here. And then another little boat next to it. See how it's taking shape now. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take, oh, how much of this side? Just need a little bit of this frond. And I'm going to chop it off here because otherwise it sticks out. Um, and I'm going to put some glue on the back, the base. And I'm going to pop it right down inside so you can just see a bit of that, that seaweed sticking up through there. Just give it a bit more something. So that's the inside bit. So the next thing I want to do is the compass. Where is it? Here it is. This is the fun bit. So I've got the compass that we stamped and I've got the little compass hand that I have punched, um, cut out with a big shot. Now also, I found a tiny weeny brad. Now I know we sell brads in the catalogue, this is one I found in my stash, it's so tiny. But anything you've got with work, I would imagine. Um, okay, and I'm just gonna pop a little hole with the edge of my scissors in that middle bit. If you've got a piercing mat handy, that would probably be safer. So just make your hole. Make sure your hand is the right way up because it's embossed on one side. And then pop it through. It should go all the way through and look really cool. <laughs> Who am I going to send these cards to? Maybe one of you guys, if you'd like it, just let me know. Okay. Right, so you can see how the little hand will move around on your compass. How cool is that? Let's have it pointing north. <laughs> There we are, I like that. And then I'm going to pop it on the side using some um, stamping dimensionals, sticky foam pads. I just need a couple. I'm going to stick one right over the sharp bit of where the brad goes and I'll stick another couple on there. And then I better go and wash all the blue off my hand when I finished. The blue and the glue. I'm very blue and very sticky today. Right, okay. Now, interestingly, I want my compass the right way up. So there we are. Pop that on there. That's so cool, isn't it? And then on the other side, I'm going to put the little anchor. Love this. And I've got some of that lovely baker's twine that I was talking about in... Did I show you this? In... Night of Navy, I think it's Night of Navy and Sahara Sand, so it makes it look really old and aged. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that through the top ring here. <laughs> and just tie a knot, really. Make it easy for yourself. And if it's got a frayed end, all the better, because it's got to look like a sh like it's been on a ship. <laughs> so 
So just tie a knot. It just adds a bit of texture to your card. There you go. Like that. I'm going to stick a bit of dimensional on there as well. I think I'll use some of the edge for that. These edge pieces are very useful, by the way. I'm sure you all use them. Don't throw those away. Right, okay. So I'm just going to pop that on this side with my bit of rope. Love that. And then on the front, we're going to put our label. Now, it's going to be interesting because I haven't stamped this yet. I actually have left it blank and I'm going to need to stamp it. So let's hope I get it in the middle. If not, I'm going to have to recut it out, which would be very annoying. Right. Let's get our thanks. Oh, the dog's going to bark. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yes, it's stamped well. So that's great. Do that one out and take my scissors because I'm going to cut it off. So this bit is actually a part. So it makes it look like um, a scroll. I don't know if you can see that. So if you put it on your card, that bit comes apart and it looks like a scroll sticking up. However, I'm going to chop it off on this occasion because I'm going to stick it on the blue one. I'm going to glue it on the blue one that I already cut out to make it pop. So I've already cut a second one out, as you can see. And it just sits proud if you want it to. It's really clever how that is, love that. Yeah, and I'm gonna just glue that on there. And as it is, I think I just put some dimensionals behind it actually. So let's put one, two of those on. Should fit nicely because obviously it's the same there yeah and then I've got that one I'm gonna stick it on the top so a little bit of glue there stick it on I don't want too many dimensionals otherwise it adds to the thickness of the card and it costs too much to send through the post so one one layer is good Okay, and then, this is the fun bit. I've got the ship steering wheel, and I've got some more of these fronds. So, I think what I'm going to do is, on the back of my label, I'm just going to put glue down the middle, so it leaves these bits free for me to stick these elements in. So, the thanks goes on the front, like that. That's not straight. Make yours straight <laughs> when you do yours. It's not bad, though. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue on the back of my ship's wheel. You could actually put a little brad in the middle of there to bling it up, but you wouldn't normally have one, would you? So let's pop that behind there quite a long way. So it doesn't want to be the focal point. And then I want a little bit of this. A little bit of this, so I think I'm going to cut a bit of this off. Here and I'm going to stick this in like that, in there, like that. So let's pop a bit of glue and we're getting towards the end of it. So it seems like a very long video, but none of it is really too complicated, is it? It's just a matter of assembly once you've done the stamping and cutting. And there you have it. Let's move all these things out of the way because we're in a bit of a mess. How is that? I really like this. I think it's a fun thing to do and you could do it with any, as I say, with any stamps or dies. And then you can write your sentiment on the back. So, if you like these new stamps and dies, you can buy them in my online shop at inkstampshare.ink and you can make your own. You can find all of it there, including the papers, and everything you need and I will be putting putting it on my blog 
So my blog is inkstampshare.ink and you'll find the shop button there too. And you can browse everything included in the new catalogue. Hope you love it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, and press that little bell down below for notifications of future videos. Thanks for stopping by.